How to assign agents to a ticket in Zendesk. Hi there, customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to look at how to assign an agent to a ticket. I'm going to give you three ways to do that. Before we begin, my name is Dominic. I'm a customer experience enthusiast. I'm a Zendesk consultant. I've been one for a decade now, and I have a bunch of logos and uh, companies that I work with, and yeah, here to bring you value. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I know that you haven't seen the content yet, but only 7% of you are subscribed and the rest 93% of you are just watching these videos and are not subscribed so yeah if you like the following please consider subscribing so as I said I'm going to give you three ways to assign an agent to a ticket and as a bonus there's going to be two more steps but those are the subject for another video first one is you manually assign an agent I'll share my screen and I'll show you how it's done all right so now I'm in my Zendesk and I'm just going to go to a ticket that I found here I can go here on assignee and I can type the name of the person that I want to assign and in this case I'm going to look at uh, Ahmed and I'm going to choose him and I'm going to have to update the ticket in order for the information to be saved. Now Ahmed will receive a notification about him being assigned to a ticket and he will of course have to yeah, deal with this ticket. However, you have to have a trigger notification to let your agents know that somebody assigned a ticket to them. Second way to assign a ticket to an agent is going to be automatically. Now let's go create a trigger to assign our agents to tickets automatically. So we go to the admin center, objects and rules, we go to to triggers we add a trigger we call this one assign onboarding tickets to Barry I'm going to have to give it a very intuitive name so if somebody else watches uh, my list of triggers they'll know what this is about I'm not going to give it a, des a description because I've named it very well the category I'm going to just put this in uh, assign triggers now I'm going to go to meet all of these conditions I'm going to say ticket is created then I'm going to look for ticket property I'm going to call it Roca service and I'm going to go is Zendesk onboarding and these are two of my conditions and I'm going to go to actions I'm going to ignore meet any of these conditions and I'm going to actions and I'm going to go to assign assignee ticket and I'm going to look for Barry and now each time a ticket is created and the Roca service is onboarding service assign this ticket automatically to Barry Create this one. Now you can of course create variations depending on your needs and whoever handles whatever uh, any of your requests and uh, there you go that's it. Now third option of assigning a ticket is going to be targets. This is a bit of a technical thing which I would like to take you on a journey to learn what it is about. The use case is that not all of my agents are part of Zendesk because perhaps I don't want to pay licenses for everyone so let's say somebody is in finance and they don't need to have access to Zendesk but I can just forward some of the tickets to them directly and they can process the ticket via email now in order for this to work we're going to use targets so let's go so we go to admin center we go to apps and integrations and we go to targets now I have to create my targets and I'm going to add a target and I'm going to choose some of these these targets are a way for me to send information to different platforms like for example to campfire to Twitter URL targets, Jira, Basecamp, Twilio, etc. I'm going to choose email. I'm going to give it a name, uh, send license tickets to Dominic. All right, email address is going to be Dominic at Roca.org. Subject, please see ticket regarding licensing. Uh, I'm not going to test the target, I'm just going to create it directly. I have my target created, all is well. Great. Now what I have to do is I have to create a trigger in order to activate this target. Let's go create a trigger. So we're going to go to objects and rules and we're going to go to triggers. We're going to add a trigger. We're going to give it a very intuitive name. Send license tickets to external target Dominic. Choose a category. I'm going to choose initial category. I'm going to say something along the lines of ticket is created. Then I'm going to say Roca service is Zenith license. Good, right? So we've identified it. But Dominic is not an agent in my Zenesk. So he's an external person that I work with and he handles uh, licenses in a different 
way. He processes this maybe in a CRM and I want him to get this via email and that's it. So in actions, I'm going to say target buy and then I'm just going to find send license tickets to Dominic. So I just choose this and I can write a message just like any other notification. Hi Dominic, this is for you. Please handle with care, kindly support team. Great. All right, and that's it. This is a way to create a target to notify external agents of tickets that have come into the system. Now, I told you there's two more bonus steps to assign tickets to agents. Now, these are subject to another video and two other ways to assign tickets to agents is going to be via skill-based routing and another one is going to be via omnichannel routing or a combination of these two. I'll see you in the next one. I hope this brought you value. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the algorithm a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.